still thinks we're down in Florida. <laughs> Alright, so we literally just got back like five minutes ago from Florida and we immediately put the cow on the lift, had to see what's wrong with it. Because it drove in here, I feel like the vet would have been in here first if it drove under its own power, but it doesn't. So we stuck the cow in here and we're going to see what is, something's broken here. Something is broke for sure. But you guys are going to see a lot of action here shortly. We're going to get the cow fixed up. We're going to get Chris's car fixed up. We're going to start the discount dragon build. We're going to finish up the boosted rooster and we're going to start the salted chicken along with these two guys. They got cars that need to be built. What? Do we didn't forget about you guys. We need to build your cars too. I don't know where to get something sold. You got to build your car too, huh? I know. Well, hey, hopefully that's my bag. We can put the motor. Yeah, here, the, here's Wes's uh, bag. Of whoop -ass right there. His bag of whoop ass. I like that. Ben, what are you thinking? What's the flavor of today? You're not going right for the for the fluid first. Bold strategy. See me myself. I would have gone and drained it out and just saw absolute carnage. It won't be that great. It's diff fluid, it smells like crap anyways. All right guys, this is just a quick put it on the lift till we're taking it apart. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. We got the axles out, the diff is dropped, drive shaft is out, and a bunch of other little things we need to get out of the way in order to drop this big old pumpkin down. Um, are we going to go to pick it up and set it on the ground or what do you want to do? Alright. I turn my back for one second and Ben is just tearing through this thing. What are you thinking, Ben? Oh, yeah. This is the, is this the culprit right here? Probably. The little passenger side axle stub? Uh. Oh, there's a bearing. There's a bearing in there. Mm-hmm. So... Alright, now. Right, so now we just gotta hook a rope around this and then to Ryan's truck. Oh, got it. oh, oh, we're free! Did it break the spool? Did it break the spool? Oh, wow. That axle is, uh, axle stub is intact. Intact. Alright, so, shine the light in there. No way you broke a spool. I've never heard of anyone breaking a spool before. Could it be the other side that's broke? Could be. You want know to hold it up? Okay. Oh. It's gotta be the spool. The spines on it are fine too. Shut up. Yeah. All right, so today is the next day, and we're holding the issue, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. It was not a axle stub. It was an axle, and uh, who knows? It might have been going out for a little bit right in here. There's, there's a bunch of bearings and stuff inside there and balls and these star-looking things, and they're supposed to mesh together, and one of them is, is probably, like, stripped, essentially, and just rotating over it. It's, uh whatever holds the cage together so whatever holds the balls or well the some some on some of these the little bearing the little ball bearings will fall out but that's not these no those are uh corvette axles. the last one i had the ball bearings came out and they sent me new ones which like a right. newer style which is probably why they didn't fall out right when you when you put them in like on a corvette where you gotta pull the spindle off if you pull this piece stays and this piece pulls on the old ones like the ball bearings will fall out and they're like the size of marbles yeah oh they're large they're like that they're like that yeah, big. They're big but on these what happened was the inner star piece is like it's shaped like a star and the outer piece is like the reverse of it and pretty much and the, the teeth little bearing those there's like little tiny uh i'd say the, the size of like a dime it's like the size of the ball bearings in there and what happened is when this moves, this stays still, obviously, I'm trying to leave or move the, the tire. Car. What happened was this twists and tries to lock in with that the star and the ball bearings, and it pushed instead of locking and turning. It, it, it turned it, tried to push it away. Mm -hmm. So it's it's skipping 
And that's what that big pop is, is, is it going over one and then hitting and going up. But it only happens when you turn or when you apply power to it, which is the issue. God, the car just jumps every time it makes the noise. We're trying to leave with all of it at this point. I mean, we have been for a while. Yeah. So the weak point failed again. Uh, just a little update here. The other rear rim is still missing. MIA. No one knows where it's at. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send these back off to the drive shaft shop. They're going to go through them, update them, um, fix them. There is not a stronger axle that you can get. So that is the, the top of the line axle there. You can't get a stronger one. So... I don't know if it was just a wear or tear thing. It might be something where we're going to get another set of axles to bring with us, but that stinks. But uh, the drive shaft shop's a really good company, and they stand behind their work. Um, last time I had an axle break, I sent it back. They fixed them and sent it back to me, no charge. And that, to me, uh, really shows a lot about the company. Uh, they're a great company. So um, back to the drive shaft shop, we'll go. We'll fix them up. And I think they'll last pretty good. The tire shake is hard on them. It's weird because normally whenever you say, like whenever you break an axle, you look under there. And there's just... The boots torn apart and it's literally separated. I'm sure we'll see that on Chris's car. Yeah, no, like normally that's how it does it. Yeah. That's why I was like... Just flopping around, yeah. That's no way it broke an axle. Ben and I are about to run and pick up the rooster and then run to the drive shaft shop. We have to return Jason's tires, but more importantly... We just pulled the axles out and we're gonna take them to the drive shaft shop and see if we can get them turned around today. Maybe get a little shop tour of what's going on there. All right, pulling up trailer in tow. God, there's a lot of people that work at the drive shaft shop. Where do I park my trailer? Over here. Oh, oh, I could do a nice big old loop-de-loop -loop here. Yeah. We're here at the drive shaft shop to drop off these wonderful axles. Ben, where are we at? The drive shaft shop, unfortunately. All right, so guys, we did talk to them here, and it is an outer um, axle stub that's broken. Something in there is all tore up, so we're going to get that fixed, and we'll be back tomorrow to pick these up. All right, guys, leaving the drive shaft shop. So it was confirmed passenger side outer was the reason uh, that the car drove so hard, right? Tried to put me in the wall, but uh, at least we know. I, ben, how much better is it knowing what's broken instead of not, not like just guessing? Like All you do is you just think about it all day long. You're like, man, what is it that's broken? I don't know. It's, it's weird that it doesn't. Itself known, yeah, like, so um, explode. you could see where it was bound up where it didn't have a ton of movement in it And that's what it was so right now we're gonna go down uh, on the way back to the shop We're gonna stop by and pick up the boosted rooster We got some parts in to finish the the new turbo on there So we're gonna pull it out of Jamie's hands and get it back and it's all tore apart I forgot about that the dash is out and everything so Jamie was gonna put a cage on it But they're actually going down to a race down in Florida and we decided we're gonna try to make a race Which is in really close time. So we're gonna get the car back before Jamie even touched it So sorry Jamie and Jason I stuck it in your shop for like a weekend and now I have to go and pull it out of there But uh, we're gonna run in there check out with those guys then head back to the shop. Oh, here. We are back at our favorite place Oh Jamie What's up? Oh, I've been running around all day. What are you doing? You boys going racing? Yeah, as soon as we get some batteries. Uh-oh, what happened? The batteries went out. For what? For the truck? Yeah, the motorhome. We went to crank it today, and we finally got the crank, but we didn't want to. Who was supposed to plug up the battery tender? Was it oh, Jason? We don't plug a battery tender. Oh, oh, God, you guys. I told the people I had to rip the salty chicken, for, or sorry, the boosted rooster from your grasping hands because we got all the turbo downpipe and everything in. And now that every other car is broken, we need to have one that runs. You got the Pro Mod all set, though. You going to whoop some ass? Clap some cheeks? Try to. Yeah? Where are you guys going? Uh, Braderton. Uh, what was that, like the Winter Nationals or something? Um, U.S. Street Nationals. Alright, alright, I see you. I see you. I was going to go, but I realized I didn't have a race car and everything. I went to slow. So I decided to opt out of that. Well, this sucker looks good sitting on the ground. It's been a minute since I've seen it on the ground. Yeah. Now you can try to sit in, see if you can get in and out. Easy. Listen, I'm feeling pretty fat today. I'm not getting in it. I've gotten harassed enough for that. Well... We'll make it quick today and get out of your hair. We're just going to push that big old thing into that trailer. And then we're going to see if, if we can get it running later. So. Wow. Straight. You good? No, I have to use that up. Oh, look who's back in the videos. <laughs> we 
we got Jason back here. They're trying to load up and go to a race, and Jason decided to come over here and mess with his uh, white car, Money Shot. He's been converting it over to a Huron Speed Turbo Kit, which, Jason, I think you've done a fine job. Thank you, sir. For being a... Huron Speed for making it easy for me. Oh, shout, modification intake, but. shout out to John at her on speed shout out to Jason for hooking it up and shout out to Ben for having to go back and fix all this mess hey that guys, Jason did What's that? Oh, you're gonna just pull the throttle? Bop, 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 bop. God, you belong in the nitrous world is what it is. I don't know if I'm turbo I'm, We're gonna be mullet racing. I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? <laughs> What are you doing? It's in gear! <laughs> neutral. That's definitely not... That was not neutral. Alright guys, so we just got back. It's like 8 o'clock at night and while I was driving, I was doing some shopping. I have been thinking about this very long and hard about the cow and I think it's finally the time to make a change so I got on turbo bullet you guys know I get everything from turbo bullet mock-up only mock-up only I bought stuff on turbo bullet and sold stuff on turbo bullet so look at you geez. look at you <laughs> so I put the cows th400 rpm transmissions th400 I put that up for sale and how in an hour I had it sold got the money for it so I get back on turbobullet.com and I say I said turbobullet.com that's the name of the forum on Facebook I get back on turbobullet and I say let me find a power glide yes so I found a power glide we're about to go and pick it up it's about two hours away Wes how excited are you to drive more in the truck not really I thought I'd fraud you might drive Ooh. so we're gonna go get a power glide I made a bunch of videos on the TH400 now I'm going to a power glide, so I'll be making a lot of videos talking about the differences of that. But I hope you guys are excited for this change because I am. It means a lot for the future of the cow. So there's a lot going to be a lot of questions. Drop your power glide and TH400 questions below because I'm going to make a whole separate video on the differences between the two and why I made the change. But for now, let's go get a glide. First question. What's is that? Is a power glide more streetable than a 400? That's going to be the first question somebody asks. I can guarantee <laughs> you. can't street drop a power glide. I'm gonna street glide my power glide. You're gonna street glide your power glide? He's gonna be gliding everywhere. Street ride my power glide. How are you gonna street glide your glide? All right, guys, and here we are. It is one o'clock in the morning. Power glide is here. We're gonna drop it off, and I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, it even comes a little trans cooler. Did you see that? Look at that. No, it's an overflow tank. Sorry, an overflow tank. You see that? All right, guys. I'm gonna call this one a wrap. We had a busy day running around everywhere. I want to thank you guys for watching. Comment below any questions about the Power Glide. I'll answer that next time. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. LS Nasty and Cowboy Merch in the description below. Get that stuff. We got some new shirts coming out soon. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time.